holistic wealth management is more than a buzzword in this industry. In fact, it's critical for great advisors, but how can you do it and where and why? I'm joined today by Devin Eckberg to discuss just that. Devin, welcome. Thank you. So Devin, let's set the stage first here a little bit. In your mind, what is holistic wealth management? Well, I, th I think it's it's uh, it's comprehensive wealth planning, right? So mm -hmm. a lot of advisors that I talk to get into the business to do the investment side of things, right? Mm -hmm. That's they're really drawn to the the technical portfolio construction, you know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But what we're finding is, if that's you know your advisor's uh, value proposition, that, yeah. that's a really tough thing to differentiate yourself. Mm -hmm. And so doing more of a, a holistic wealth management type process mm -hmm. is really going to, number one, differentiate you from the other advisor. And number two, really add more value beyond just the financial outcomes of the client that you're dealing with. And it's easy to get commoditized when, if that's the value you're bringing to the table, it's easy to get commoditized and forgotten about or replaced for anything. Right. Yeah. And, and, and that's true. So there's a lot of pressures moving people towards kind of that holistic, comprehensive wealth management. But more importantly, the research is showing that that's what the clients prefer. That's mm -hmm. what they, their unique needs and preferences are saying that I need, you know, beyond just the investment management side, I need more of a, uh, you know, uh, the retirement planning, for instance, or some of the folks that work with our high net worth clients need, mm -hmm. you know, business succession planning or, you know, estate planning, charitable giving type uh, um, services. So we understand the why, but what about the how? How can you be more holistic? What's, what, what are some of the essential steps to that? Well, number one is going back to the research and, and asking what, what is it that the clients are asking for mm -hmm. and how do my services as an advisor align with the unique needs and preferences that those clients are asking for. And what we're seeing a lot with our advisors at our organization is that they're specializing in certain areas that are sort of underserved. So I mentioned earlier, like the high net worth clients that maybe own businesses that need a, a little bit of a specialization in how to manage their business or manage the exit of their business. Those advisors are providing sort of that, uh, that you know, niche service mm -hmm. for them. And some of the certifications that we've created at our organization are really geared towards giving those advisors the, the knowledge and skills to be able to do that competently, but also in a way that differentiates themselves mm -hmm. between you know the other advisors. You're right, and being holistic starts with great conversations, but sometimes that can be hard for advisors too. Behavioral finance might be the key to that. Well, what are some of your thoughts on getting started with behavioral finance so you can have better conversations with your clients? Yeah, it, it all comes down to whether a client is behaviorally able to stick with the portfolio right. that you're you're dealing with. So you can have a, a great, you know, modern portfolio theory, mean optimized, you know, mean sure. variance optimized portfolio, but if the client can't live with it, it's not gonna do them any, you know, financial good. So understanding what those biases are, whether they're cognitive thinking biases or errors or maybe more emotional type biases, having a prescription for, you know, that type of client can can really add a lot of value. And and it's necessary. You mentioned the commoditization thing yeah. earlier. Um, the value you're going to add as an advisor is really more behavioral than it is technical. Well, amazing, amazing information. Thanks so much for joining us and some great insights for advisors that want to be more holistic. You bet. Thanks for, a lot. For Investment News, I'm Matt Ackerman.